shoulders. I hope you can hear me. If anyone can hear me, please type it in the chat while I get the other box. She shares her food with him, 
And he has actually, I've seen her follow him around to show all the safe spots in the neighborhood. And so she has that friend. Um, there are other cats that they kind of establish uh, territories. Like I've seen her hiss at other cats. So, so she's establishing her territory in our backyard. And she's actually gaining weight more than she ever did in this room. Um, her milk has dried up. Her incision is fully healed. She just loves being outside. And anytime I go out there, she actually does not want to come in. So if I open the door and start stepping out, she actually backs away. She doesn't want me bringing her back in. So she really is meant to be an outdoor cat. And so she's our outdoor cat now. Um, and another great thing is that because of this whole situation, we've had some of our supporters through Discord and Patreon step forward as uh, Holly's fairy godmothers. And so um, I, I have some things out there for Holly already that I didn't unbox because we wanted to get them out there for her. And so we have a little house shelter that she uses to stay away from the rain. And we also use it to put her food in there so it doesn't get bugs in it and it doesn't get rained on and things like that. And so she's been using that. It has a nice little self-heating pad in it so uh, to keep it warm in there um, and blankets and everything uh, to keep her nice and sheltered um, in her little house. And so that, that shelter and the little heating pad was donated by Pepper Simba, um, who's one of our great supporters. She also donated all of Holly's food. So Holly's eating adult food now. So she needed different food than these kittens are getting. Since she's an outdoor cat, she needs a different blend that my cats eat, my indoor cats, the brood cats. And so Pepper Simba has provided all of that. And there's two boxes here, actually, both from her as well. And we'll see more toys for Holly in there that I'll finally get to put out because it's been raining and I didn't want to put them out in the rain. So now it's drying up and those will be for Holly. Um, in addition, we actually have this scent. And I'm not actually going to open up this box yet. But this big box here, I wanted to show it off. This was donated by Pat M.M. Um, so when we first brought Holly back, she actually had to live for two nights in a cat carrier in our garage um, so that she could get used to uh, kind of transition to outside and because she had to heal her incision. And so we only had one of the big cat carriers for her. And Pat was like, well, for the future, you need a bigger crate, like a dog crate. So there's room for a litter box. There's more room for food. Holly was fed out there. She, she didn't have a litter box, but she went to the bathroom and we just cleaned it out. Um, and so now we'll have a crate for any future mom cats that need that kind of treatment. So that's wonderful. Thank you so much, Pat. Um, and so if you have any more questions about Holly, you can email me. Um, or hit me up on Discord, but she is doing amazing. Um, and so let's open these boxes for Holly from uh, Pepper Simba. And we'll see what kind of toys she came up with for Holly. Oh my gosh, there's a ton of toys. So the note says, um, hi Melissa, to try for Holly. Um, so uh, Holly was a little bored at first. I think she's adjusting better now, but this is some toys for Holly. So um, we wanted some toys for outside, so we have some like push ball toys. Actually, I'm going to give one to her kids. That person just said I could do that. So here's little, they're like little push balls. Do you want them? It's so cool. Look, what's that? Go get it. The kids are like, why are there boxes, Melissa? I don't know. I don't like it. And then we have all of these toys. We've actually got one of these before, probably from Pepper Simba. And so some of these toys I think are better suited for indoors, like the soft ones. But there's a lot of good toys out here for outdoors, too. Another push ball. This little wicker toy will be okay outside. This one with the bell. And so we definitely want to give Holly some stimulation. Um, and so I'm going to put these on the back porch next to her little house. For her to play with and to share with the neighborhood cats. Um, I'll just have to remember that if we have warm care, I need to go clean them up, just like having a kid. So thank you so much. Those will be great to try. And this, I think, is the stretcher mat that I wanted to try. So Holly, when she was in here, I don't know if you noticed, but she loved scratching posts. But obviously, scratching posts are made of carpet. That's going to rot if we put it outside. And so um, I wanted to find an alternative that we could maybe try. Um, oh, actually, this is not that mat. So maybe I need to order that still, which is fine. Uh, this is actually a 
poly that we could put outside because it's plastic. It might be good for that. I don't know what this is. Oh, another ball. Look, a ball, balls, and more balls. Um, and so that thistle mat, I might have to order still. Um, I think it's on our wish list, actually, if someone wanted to grab it. Oh, these are kind of cool. I've never seen these before. You know what? I'm going to leave one in here, too, because these cats will love that. What's this, guys? What's that? I'm going to leave one in here. Um, but that, that's really cool with the feathers like birds. Um, Perry says, Perry's office actually faces the backyard, so he can see Holly there. And he says she is always chasing birds out there. And bees and other bugs. So that's great. She's getting a lot of stimulation, but we want to give her some more so she's not bored. Um, and it's because we love her, and she's kind of now our outdoor cat that we'll be watching uh, and taking care of. Um, and she's doing so great. Um, I'm just actually really surprised with how great she is doing and how fast she made friends with her boyfriend there, her great cat boyfriend. All right, so those are the only boxes I believe that we had to open. Um, because, like I said, we had already opened some with food and everything like that. Um, there are a few other things on our wish list that we do need if you want to grab those before I do. Um, I will use our Patreon funds if I need to. Um, we actually also, I think since last time I did a thank yous, we have upgraded our camera system. Uh, a couple of different ways. So Perry fixed our Wi-Fi connection so it works better now. And he did this um, special kind of hardwired connection um, for the cameras so that they don't have to run directly on Wi-Fi. And we also have, did the crazy upgrade to the PC that runs this. You know, the one that's like all over the news that NSA pushed through, whatever. We had to do that upgrade earlier this week, which is why the stream reset. So that's all done now. Hopefully we don't have to reset the stream for a while and it doesn't lag anymore. I don't think it's been lagging lately. So I think Perry figured out all the issues. Uh, what time is it? Oh, we still have a couple minutes before we have to go to the vet. So let me read our list of Patreon supporters. We actually have a new one. So let me make sure I get everyone. Let me open up my Patreon. Uh, yes, so we have a couple new ones, actually. So let me just go through the list of our wonderful supporters. April, Moose Little, Eggster, Benaya and Malka, Pepper Simba, Amy E, Frawley's Mom, Jan Rob, Callie Mo, and Sir Geek. Congratulations on your new kittens, by the way. Callie Mo and Sir Geek just adopted three kittens from Kitten Academy up near where they live. Um, Pat M.M., Angie Kirby, Will K., Suburban Hell and Suburban Heaven, Little Cat Feet, N.C. Yester Teacher, Missy and Greg, Sean T., Holly, K.F. Lisa, Lily Cat's Mom, A.J. China, Herbal Mitz, Little Word, Heck Yes Deidre, Hills, Lisa K., Joyce, Rob F. and our newest supporter, I actually don't remember her Discord name, so I'm sorry about that. I have to look on Discord, actually. Um, so our newest supporter uh, is Callie Gao, and I actually just remembered that we all, I don't have Mandy on my list, so Mandy is a new supporter, too. I think that's everyone now. I need to remake my list. I need to put it on my list to remake my list, apparently. Uh, so, um, I also want to thank, of course, our $1 Patreon supporters. You guys um, really help with even just a dollar a month. It really does add up. And so, we really appreciate your support in that way as well. I'm going to just quickly look at the chat here to see if there were any questions. Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. It looks like Pat and Eggster are watching right now, uh, and they're all already admins, and they know all about Holly um, and her situation. Um, so, uh, if there, since there are no questions, oh, is there a window sill outside the window Holly could use and peek inside? Yes, Pat. 
Um, Holly is always looking in on the windows, actually. Um, there is uh, windows all around Perry's office. So on three sides, uh, Perry has windows all around his office that all look into the backyard. Um, some of those are covered by blinds because of the sun that comes in. But Holly does peek through there and look in at Perry and sometimes meows at him. Um, there's actually also a window over my kitchen sink that I look out, I can look out of. It's not floor to ceiling like in Perry's office. Um, but I can look out and see Holly's house. Um, and it's really cute. She will um, see me through that window when I'm doing dishes. And she'll meow at me and I'll slow blink back at her and she slow blinks back at me. So um, it's really cute to have her um, see her in the backyard and have her at the window. Um, but she's not back there all day. She definitely goes and explores and hangs out with her boyfriend uh, and goes into the other yards. Um, like I said, my neighbors also feed the cats. I think Holly is not going to the neighbor that, that, that is that way. Um, I've seen her hiss at some of the cats that come from that direction. They have enough cats over there getting food. But I suspect some of my other neighbors to the north um, also feed, like, Tom, the, the boyfriend cat, and he may be taking Holly over there to eat as well. Um, so she's getting, she's gaining weight. She was always so skinny here, and she's finally gaining weight um, being outside, which is really strange. Um, so I really think that's just the best environment for her. She's she's just doing so great. Um, her fur is super soft, which again is crazy for an outdoor cat. It's really the environment she was meant to be in. Um, we do have a, another uh, gift coming for Holly too, but that's going to be a few weeks out. Um, so stay tuned for that. Okay, I need to get these kittens to the vet, so I'm actually going to stop this thank you stream. Perry will get it posted when he comes back from playing Dungeons and Dragons. So thank you again for all of your support. Um, thank you for your understanding about Holly's situation. Much love. Leave the kitten for me. I'll be back, babies.